Got about 13 cars on the lead lap, and running right behind right now is uh, Kevin Magnuson. He started in P13, but he managed to be unable to move up in the field, and he's still running in P13. We've got 11 laps remaining here in the Derby Grand Prix. We had pretty much got that time in the final sector. I'm now trying to put a lap on uh, Kevin Magnuson. It's a dismal day for the Mercedes. And remember, this is Mercedes' home soil here in Germany. It looks like apparently they're not doing a good job today. Yeah, that was a nice lap that time. Boom. Going to all through those ERS zones and I get the uh, the fastest lap of the race with a minute 13.058. You know, without the DRS, then I'm a, a little bit of a tick slower. seems to be uh, P12. That looks like Lando Norris is uh, running in P12 because we know Butler is uh, having a decent run. He was running in P3, but now it belongs to Pierre Gasly because Devin Butler took the uh, hard tires in this race instead of the mediums.
smooth. Next time around, we're going to be eight laps remaining here in the German Grand Prix. Looking for my seventh win here of the fifth season of my Formula 1 2019 career mode. And the 6-1-2 finish for the Red Bull Hondas. We have done a tremendous job here today at the German Grand Prix. Well, I'm holding up a 24 second lead over Max for stopping. And Gasly is about a good 10 seconds uh, behind uh, Max for stopping, but we don't know where Lucas Weaver is. I think he's running in P4 right now, and Max for stopping gets the fastest time. Oh, well, we got our first retirement of the race, and it's Pierre Gasly. The first retirement of the race with six laps to go, and Pierre Gasly is going to spoil disaster from the tempted podium finish, and he is out of the race with a blown motor. That's unbelievable. So Pierre Gasly drops out of the race with a blown motor and ruins... His attempted podium Be run. There's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. Well, what a tough break for the Ferrari the Pierre Gasly. And Green now flag. the great day they had is turned into disaster. There's five laps of fuel remaining.
have four and a half laps to go here in the German Grand Prix. And it looks like Verstappen's going to hold on to P2 so we can get our 6-1-2 finish for the Red Bull Hondas. So it looks like Lucas Weaver is going to get another podium finish here in his home soil uh, circuit. Remember, he lives in the uh, Germany country. This is his home soil country here in the German Grand Prix. And it looks like the crowd is going to be very delighted that for him for a P3 finish. Remember, he won the race in the McLaren last season, but it's not going to be meant to be uh, this season in the racing point Mercedes. And this is Mercedes home soil too. This is where the built the, uh, the manufacturer here in this country, in Germany. Good run for Daniel Papia running in P11 in the Toro Rosso. Well, we will we'll be careful trying to get around them. Ooh, man. I made contact with them, but uh, no damage. Uh, very lucky I got no damage on my wing. But we only have about two laps remaining here at the German Grand Prix. So which means Lando Norris is running in uh, P10, trying to stay on that uh, Podium position. That's the points paying position in the in the top ten for Lando Norris. Still a good effort for for the Renault Formula One team, but, but we don't know where they're running. I think they could be running maybe P4 and P10. Charles Leclerc can be the other racing point Mercedes, and then P8 could be uh, either Vettel or Ricardo. And here we go, final lap of this German Grand Prix. One more lap to go. Going for our seventh win of the season, and then the sixth one two finish for the Red Bull Hondas. Man, what a good race for me and for Stoppen. We couldn't believe from starting the race in ninth and then. Thanks for stopping. Started 11th, and he gets another fast lap, and he's about 19 seconds uh, ahead of me. But that doesn't matter because I still got a good, sizable lead over for stopping. It looks like he has a fresher engine than I do, but I'm going to manage to hold on uh, to this position. It was a good race uh, for me and for stopping. the final left corner and then the final two right corners here to the home stretch and we did it what a great amazing job for the Red Bull Hondas again as we get our 6-1-2 finish of the season and I'm going to get my seventh win in season five of my career mode and I win yes, the German Grand Prix well absolutely superb racing for us Good job for the Red Bull Hondas again. Tell me about it.
me out. How did they manage to achieve this win? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team will be pleased that they didn't cook the engine, given how long they were spending in the hot air behind their cars. They had a lot of confidence to push their tires hard as well, especially going into the corner. Well, it looks like Verstappen had a little bit of speed there going on there into P2. It looks like he was running the better uh, medium tires than we are, but um, he managed to hold on. A 19 second lead over for Stappen because he was flying in the last seven laps of the race, but I managed to hold on with the win. What a superb great job for us for the Hondas. Bingley hmm. and Verstappen are working very well together as a team. Here's how things look in the driver's table. Hawk increases their championship lead. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull pull further ahead in the standings. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Alfa Romeo whose good result moves them further up the championship. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. So an absolutely superb job and a 6-1-2 finish for the Red Bull Hondas as we finish 1-2 uh, in the German Grand Prix. Well, we did an excellent job out there. I think maybe this is our seventh one-two finish for the Red Bull Honda, but I'm going to have to uh, check and see. And Lucas Weber uh, gets a good job. He finishes in P3. Sebastian Vettel in P4 in the McLaren. He managed to move up from 6th to 4th, and a phenomenal job for George Russell, but finishing in P5. He did an excellent job, but it looks like the soft tire strategy didn't work too much for him, so he managed to get a top 10, and it seems so it didn't work for Devin Butler either. Botas was 7, uh, Ricardo dropped to 8th, Leclerc 9th, and Lando Norris 10th. And let's take a look at the standings. And uh, we now have a 45 point advantage over uh, our teammate Max Verstappen as we, we got another 1 2 finish for the Red Bulls. And it's our 7th of the season. And this is my 436th career victory. Charles Leclerc now moves up into 4th place. Sainz drops into 5th. Butler moves to 6th. And I think the biggest move, how about George Russell getting those 22 points for the Alfa Romeo? He gets uh, t up to 12. And then in the constructor settings, where we uh, commandingly uh, pulled up the table, a 205 point advantage over Racing Point. Ferrari is third, Mercedes fourth, and Renault goes up to fifth. So, what a superb, great job here that we did in the German Grand Prix. And, I knew I had the uh, the car to win the race, and and, and for stopping at the end, he was flying out there, but it was too little, too late. But I still managed to hold on. Let's take a look at the highlights here at the German Grand Prix. Remember, we started in P8 in the race, and there you see all the uh, inexperienced drivers over there. And unbelievable that George Russell uh, was in P4. Remember, Max Verstappen. Uh, had a little bit of room over there. He passed Kimi Räikkönen, and then I passed him pretty easily as well, too. And I was able to get around for stopping, and a little bit of nudge getting around with Claire. Hmm, there you see the pass for P4 there. I was able to get around George Russell for P4. And I get around Devin Butler, that was for P3.
And look at this side-by-side -side battle here between me and uh, Ricardo getting around him for P2. And Sight started from full position, but let's see what happened to him. I got around him cleanly, I had no wing damage. But it looks like he made contact with someone else uh, during the wing damage. And then a little bit of a moment there. <laughs> wow. I couldn't believe I had no wing damage when I got around uh, Daniel Kathia. And here comes the finish of the race. What an awesome job for me and for stopping. We did a great job out there. Well, let's take a look at the race direction and see what happened. Well, there was two collisions on lap one, Hulkenberg and Perez, and then Gasly was out of the race with a mechanical failure, and, and then Carlos Sainz uh, had a collision with uh, Verstappen. I think he was trying to get around them, and then Verstappen went on to P2. So, a good job for us, and uh, most certainly we're going to have an interview here. Let's go to that one before we wrap it up here in the German Grand Prix. job and the base has the best fans and everything but we're so glad that and we're so sad that we Steve let it go for next season but let's hope this race will come back uh, in any future now but it was a great day for us great day for the Red Bulls you gained a lot of positions during the race didn't you hmm uh, the car was uh, flawless today uh, the power damage came uh, right in handy and uh, we did a good job getting through the traffic and everything and we had a great car and uh, it, it, it did very well out there. We, it some was an awesome job. Some overtaking moves from your former teammate today. Did he learn some of them from you? Well, Lucas Weaver did a great job. He managed to finish in the uh, P3 position. He, he got a gifted P3 position because Gasly uh, blown an engine on his Ferrari, but he did a great job out there. He was uh, automatic during the race. You and Lucas seem to enjoy yourselves up on the podium today. Uh, most surely he does, but he got a B3 finish. He, he was doing a good job during the race, and uh, and I think his soft tire management uh, worked a little bit well, but me and Christophe had the upper advantage. Appreciate your time. All right, then. Well, that's going to do it for the uh, German Grand Prix, and thank you so much for watching the JPO Formula 1 show, and that was episode number 95, and uh, another 1-2 finish for the Red Bull Hondas. We seek our seventh one of the season. So it was me and Prasapin did a good job out there. And I have a 45 point advantage. So let's hope we can continue that way in the next race. Uh, at one of my most uh, hated tracks is the Hungarian Grand Prix at the Agara Ring. So hopefully we can do well uh, on that next race and everything. Until then, on behalf of you two, Speed Japo, and then our sponsors Red Bull, Aston Martin, Hooters. And everything else, thank you so much uh, for watching uh, the German Grand Prix. It was an excellent race for us in the Hockenheim Ring. Until then, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day and hope some of the people don't get too wet out there. And thank you so much uh, for watching. But, well, I'll see you next time for episode number 96 for the Hungarian Ring. So, so long and goodbye, everyone. <laughs>